You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have a brand new face for Greater Brockton. I have Sharon Baker. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Mark. How nice are you? Nice to meet you in person. I had a nice conversation with you over the phone. Okay. And you are doing the first annual Father's Day Peace Walk in Brockton. Yes. Tell us about it. So what the Father's Day Peace Walk is, we're putting together um, this Peace Walk here in the city of Brockton. And the reason being, I am upset with all the killings that are going on. Um, I lost a son here in the city of Brockton. I lost a nephew here in the city of Brockton. Um, and it's uh, every day, it's like... And, and it's too much and people kind of get desensitized about it. it, it it's not something you... It's just not a statistic in the paper. These are human beings. Yeah, these are lives. About. These are right. lives. Right. Lives that matter. Absolutely. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. By the way, I know there are Mother's Day walks, but I haven't heard of a Father's Day walk before, so I think it's a great idea. Thank you. So we're talking June 16th. That's On correct. a Sunday. On a Sunday. You're going to assemble over at Vincente's? Yes, we are. Warren Ave and Pleasant. Correct. Okay, and um, you're, you're partnering with, I, I, on the flyer, Safe Streets Coalition, Plymouth County DA, Tim Cruz, and the mayor. That's correct. Mayor Carpenter. Yes. So um, when I was introduced to Patrick Nevins, um, a, a district, district attorney, and um, I said to him, you know, we were just having a general conversation. And I said, I would like to see a peace walk here in the city. And when he looked at me, and his eyes opened so wide, mm -hmm. and he says, I've always wanted to do that. Great. So this has been marinating from maybe nine months now um, between Patrick and myself and uh, the mayor's office. Mm -hmm. And so the time is here, and it came quickly but I am excited because what I'm looking for is unity mm -hmm. in the city, U-N-I-T-Y. If we can get some unity, if we can get some peace and some understanding to stop the killing right. for foolishness. Yeah, it's a silly argument or, you know, unfortunately, substances, money, just all sorts of unnecessary things. That's correct. Okay, so you're hoping to have an army of people that day. I'm praying. Okay, it's 9 a.m., it's early. So if you're taking your, your father out or your significant other or what, you can go at noon. That's right. You can participate in this in the morning. I know it's, I know it's church day, oh, but yeah. this is, you know, think about it. It's the Lord's work if you're, if you're dealing with peace and unity. It's a ministry. Right? It's a ministry. And sponsored by Life Emissaries of New England. That's correct. Right? Um, you're, you're a member? I am a member. Okay. I am a member. I am formerly Life After Death, and, um, you know, no one wants to hear that name. Yeah. So Life I, Emissaries sounds good. It's a good yes. branding tool. And what is Emissaries? It's a message. Right. So I want to get a message out. I want the people to understand what the city of Brockton we're trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to come together, we're trying to collaborate, be, because I was not even aware of all uh, support in the city of Brockton. Okay. But when you sit in and you see, it's like, why did I have to run to Boston? Right. Because it is here. Mm -hmm. So we need to co collaborate um, with one another, and that's what we're doing. A lot of us, um, safe streets, um, uh, street corners, right. um, mothers with courage, um, PAC, um, Father the Trinity Church, the clergies of Brockton. So if we all get together, um, we can do this. We can, we can take back our streets. It's a big election year this year, so are you hoping that some of the people that are running for office are going to show up? And, and be part of the process, not, not about them, but to support this important cause. I, I would hope so. Okay, I would really to, to me, 
every city council should be there, every member of the school committee should be there. I know it's a busy day, right. but if you care about your city That's and right. you want to make a, send a message, take a stand, you're going through a tough area. Okay, mm -hmm. we're right here on North Main Street and Warren Ave and Pleasant, thank God for Vincentis because they clean up a lot of stuff. But yes. that gas station that you're going to stop at and do a prayer at, mm -hmm. that's a tough place. It is. It's um, the area we're familiar with, that area. There's a lot of drugs. There's a lot of pills. There's a lot of shootings that go on in that area. And that area needs to be cleaned up. Mm -hmm. And this is what we're doing. Yeah. We're cleaning up the areas. We want the pills. I don't want to see my sisters and my brothers out there on that street corner. Right. There's opportunities. There's life mm -hmm. here in the city of Brockton. So this started out with your idea. Yeah. Okay. I, I guess um, I'll take credit. Um, but without the help, the support um, that I have behind me, mm -hmm. I'm so grateful for because without them, I couldn't do it. You got your number right on here, your, your email. Yes. It says Sharon.Baker508, right. yes, which correct. is our area code, at gmail.com. How much easier could it be than Simple. that if they want to get in touch with you? And you're, you're looking for people. It's just as simple as showing up, being there. Show up and show out for Brockton. Yep. Come join us. Let's get the peace. Let's get some unity. There will be event tables, um, education tables that people can know who's in your city, what's your city about, and what we're doing here in the city of Brockton. Well, I think it's a great thing that you're doing. First annual, we'll be hopefully sitting here talking about this 10 years from now, oh, and yes. but let's hope Thank things you. that get changed. Thank you, yes. Okay. That's what it's about, a change. So any final thoughts you want to appeal directly to the audience? And you get about a minute, and then I'll close it up. Thank you. Um, I really just want to say pain. I was telling, you know, someone three H's hurt, humanity, and then being humble. And when you get to a place with humble, you want to reach out for the provision. And the provision is our president commanded this wall. Yeah. So the Brockton, our provision is to get provision for peace in the city. I love it. And that's Especially what, now. Now is the time. Well, so let's get together, Brockton. I'm looking forward to seeing uh, clergies, uh, school committees, uh, Mark, yeah. um, and all those that matter in the city of Brockton. And when I say all those that matter, that's all of us. It'll take us 30 minutes for the walk. You can walk, run home, shower, and make it to church. Exactly. Thank you, and I'm looking forward to seeing you. Fathers, mothers, sisters, nephews, nieces, aunts, come out. Let's do this. Together, we're better. Thanks, Sharon. Thank you. You're looking at Sunday, June 16th, 9 a.m., first annual Father's Day Peace Walk, Vincente's, and down Warren Avenue. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.